Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be incorporating um, watering or watering channeling from the water and we are going to be calling parts of your soul back, okay? I'm hearing that now is the time this is needed. All right, um, I'm also, also being guided to let you know we are working with black, orange, and white candles. And this is carnelian and this is garisol. So um, helping us to tap deep, deep, deep into your soul and to remove any blockages that would stop you from calling back your energy or parts of your soul, okay? I feel like some of this might be um, inner child stuff that we might be calling back as well. Um, but with that said, we're going to use the uh, tarot cards in the water of course as a gateway as well as some some paint we're going to use this purpley color that i have here uh to also help us tap in so if you're not in a place where you can kind of have a bit of peace and some silence so that you can just focus on and the words and focus on the images, but mostly so that you can just be centered into your heart during this time. Um, I would suggest waiting and, and watching the reading when you have that, that sacred space for yourself. Also, if you want to light three candles and put it into the shape of a triangle, um, that will be awesome. Okay, very beautiful. Yes, yes, and yes, so that we're we're just fully connected in. And actually, as we are getting started, I want you to, uh, inside of your heart space, put a tea light at the top, okay, of your triangle or your pyramid. And then go ahead and put a tea light at the bottom, the four bottoms of your pyramid. So this is a, what is this, a 3D pyramid, all right, where it's a square on the bottom and then it all reaches up to one point. So there's five tea lights. Okay, and so the bottom of the pyramid would be at the bottom of your heart chakra, all right? And then just see a light glowing inside of your heart chakra, just very beautiful light, okay? A very beautiful light. It may be a gold color, but it may not. Um, you may just feel darkness in there, and that's that's beautiful, all right? It means that you're coming into alignment and you're allowing yourself to the, the space that is needed, right, <clears throat> to do this work now. Go ahead and from the middle of your heart chakra, whatever the light is that you are seeing. All right, clearly see your tea lights lit, okay? Oh, so powerful, so beautiful. And then bring down a line from the middle of your chakra down into the root of, uh, down to the bottom of your spine, into your roots, okay? And just straight down so that it's going down through your solar plexus, down through your navel, through your sacral, and through your root. All right, and then see that line of connection just going out from your root out to your right leg and your left leg, your hips, okay? Kind of drawing like up horizontal line and then see that line just kind of draw down your legs all right so we're just pulling down the energy of of your heart space down your legs okay into your feet opening up those feet chakra and then bringing it into your earth star chakra so see that light reach your feet your feet are opening now okay and then see that light reach into your earth star chakra mm. and at this time um, I've already called in everyone's guides, okay, uh, before starting this reading. I just, I, someone needs to know that. So go down into the earth star chakra and just see that line go all the way down and see it go down through the zero point chakra as well. All right, your Gaia chakra, some people may call it, and go down, down, down. You may hit a black rock or it may be a crystal. It may be a quartz, a clear uh, crystal quartz or maybe a different crystal altogether or it may be a different energy it doesn't have to be solid but just have that line okay that energy just go through that rock okay and as that is happening all the black energy within you right now things that you've absorbed from people around you things that are not yours all right anything that does not serve you for your highest and greatest good is being released down this cord okay and it's it's being transmuted it's being given to to mother we're grounding out all the worries the fear anxieties we're grounding out the projections we're grounding out all energy that is not ours okay all emotions that are not ours all beliefs all baggage any weight we're carrying for our ancestors any weight we're carrying for the people that we love any weight that we're carrying from any past lives we're just letting it go okay oh so beautiful so feel yourself be lighter your heart should be opening even more now okay yes yes and yes let's get it okay so 
um, you might start to feel kind of a light come down the, above your head. It's a, a beautiful sharing energy of pure white light that is coming in to, to purify the top of your light body, okay? And then that energy, of course, will uh, either vortex down or you'll continue to feel a uh, column, a cindler, uh, if I said that correctly, of light, okay? But it, do, it is feeling like it's swirling a bit. Some of you might feel some uh, some gold specks in this light, okay? It may seem a little ghostly, a little eerie. Some of you, it may uh, be very, very white, okay? It's just this energy coming in to just cleanse, okay? So just allow it to do what it's going to do. Don't direct it. This is effortless. There's nothing for you to do but allow okay mm -hmm. with that we're going to be pulling down the the pulling out the the first card okay Irshamada. as we're going deep 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 into the core of the earth you're going to reach some beautiful lovely energy it may look red it may look pink or hot pink or light pink all right we're reaching deep into the core of mother and we're going to dig our hands and our feet into this energy all right and we're going to allow ourselves to be fully grounded by unconditional love feeling fully safe to call back any parts of you at this time and also allowing you whatever time is needed for you to integrate these energies all right spirit will create the space for you the time the, the environment the location if there's anything that you need um spirit will provide the resources for you if you need uh candles if you need salt for your bath if you need um food whatever it is spirit will fully uh, provide that for you all right knowing that you are fully taken care of all your needs are met and mother is coming in to bring up beautiful energies through your toes all right so feel that energy started coming up through your toes as you feel completely held at this time i heard take all oh ho ho she's neta i heard take all three so at this energy there's two that are upside down i just noticed and then there's two that are right side up okay so i feel like there's this energy of um it's Two things being stuck in the past. Yeah, stay with me and just allow the energies to work while we while we do the reading. Okay. Yeah, isn't that so powerful? Love it. And then there's there's so there's this this thing and they want me to grab one from the top, but we're gonna grab that um after we go through these first two. So trust and faith in galactic coming through. Let me pull this I because it's like um is shaking the thing and I don't want it to shake it okay so trust and faith so we're taking the garrisol out is what I just heard so we're just gonna put it there very beautiful there's this uh this rusty orange color that we're gonna add to the water okay there's something you can focus on the water if you like, or you can focus on inside. You can close your eyes, whatever you feel is, is best for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Energies of the galactic war. All right. I feel like uh, somebody was portrayed, you know, in their galactic timeline. Okay. And also, I feel like, I feel like uh, somebody was meant to go someplace and they, they got tricked and they went someplace else. And they, there was a lot of suffering due to that, okay? There was a lot of suffering. And so what we're gonna do is open to receive the violet flame and we're gonna send energies with violet flame to your galactic timeline. And for some of you guys, it's timelines, all right? So there's multiple things that will be clear to this time. Some things you will know about and some things you won't, all right? But we're going to send fully healing energies, forgiving energies, allowing you to release the anger, allowing you to release the pain, the suffering, allowing you to stop creating this in your life, you know, with relationships. So those of you that are resonating with this, your relationships have been hard. Um, you, you, there's a lot of distrust, right? And it seems like everybody proves you right, that you can't trust them. So what we're doing is we're just releasing that from the DNA. We're going down into the molecules, Adam, now. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so it's so powerful and so beautiful. So just feel energy just swirling down into you. You, you might start to see uh, violet swirls come into your energy body. Violet swirls. You might start to see uh, like rustic looking orange swirls come in. Um, some of you, there's uh, some light yellow swirls that are coming in. All right. And what we're doing is we're calling calling all of you back and we're reintegrating that energy into your DNA. Okay. Pieces of fragments. It's almost like shards. Like if you were completely broken and um, you wanted to be put back together, there is those like tiny shards that you're like, how, would, how am I going to get put back together? There's these little slivers. Okay of shards but they're coming back to you now so just open to receive it open to receive it open to receive it okay we're gonna pull one akashic tarot card just feel the energy swirling within you and you opening and receiving even more even more if you're feeling resistant, just allow the energy of the violet flame to come in. All right, it's almost as if you're gonna feel it coming from behind you because we're we're doing this like this this past life stuff, right? And so even though time is is not linear, um, the way for you to be able to allow it more is to see it shooting from from behind. So it's almost as if your your prior self is sending you energy of forgiveness so that we can completely transmute that energy within your yourself today. Okay. Yeah. So powerful. Michael, thank you. Um Clarion is here as well. Winged messengers, two of roses. Okay, so. Oh, it's so powerful. There's like, there's an angel and then there's a dove and there's like this, this scroll that the dove is like holding on top. Hmm. And then there's more, there's another messenger coming in over here. I feel like this is a hawk. It might be an eagle, but I feel, I don't know. I feel just like hawk energy very strongly. So at this time, your angels and the elementals are coming in for you so strong. All right, the energy of the dove and the hawk, all right, helping you to see see through the eyes of peace, helping you to see through the heart of peace, helping you to ground your energy so that you can um, feel, feel the energy of clarity coming back to you so that you can rest your mind and not always be in this energy of mistrust or betrayal or waiting for the shoe to drop. You know what I mean? Or waiting for, you know, when you have to like struggle again or waiting for when you have to get through that next obstacle. It's it's really re helping you to release that. All right. So, yes, we're going to use it every day in every way. You're going to feel more released, more liberated. Okay. Every day in every way, you're going to feel more released, more liberated. Every day in every way, you're going to feel more whole, released, and liberated. Every day in every way, you're going to feel more whole, released, and liberated. Every day in every way, you are going to feel more whole, released, and liberated. All right, mm, grounded and authentic in your energy. I'm hearing hallelujah. All right, so your ancestors are coming in like, yes, okay. All right, moving on. Oh, that's, yep, yeah. mm hmm You see this? Okay, it's upside down. It's the finances, it's the spouse. All right, so obviously, um, and this is, I don't know what kind of coin this is, but this is definitely a past life where you, you lived somewhere, um, it almost feels like medieval times is coming through for this. All right. Uh, it's definitely very early, like when they first invented coins, you know, that kind of energy. Um, you might have even been a coin smith or a blacksmith or something like this. And it had to do with, with your... I just heard my husband stole all the money. Okay. So... Um, yeah. Okay. So this... so. Thank you so much. So this wound is, it's where they took it all and ran, okay, is what I heard. So quite possibly what's happened, how this has been replayed out to you is where either uh, you have been in this energy of giving money away, um, you know, expecting uh, uh, someone to give you love or to stay for love if you just supported them financially, uh, particularly, or if um, 
you end up helping out a friend and then you never hear from them again. Um, these kinds of things are where you you stop helping people out financially over fear of losing the the relationship or or um the opposite you're holding resentment anger and grudges against um you know people that have hurt you in the past or if they've hurt you in the past and so you're being tight with your money even if your soul is telling you to give right because there's this lesson of learning to give without receiving but you're having a hard time because there's this wound right Mm -hmm. And I love this because now the color, the water is turning this like sherbet, um, corally color. All right. Which is this energy of like emotional ease, uh, this energy of, um, uh, okay. Of, of, of the backstabbing. Okay. So there might've been a lot of that going on, especially maybe money being involved in it. Okay. So we're going to go to the to the root of it and they're asking me to pull the third card now oh wow native american okay so irosama quite possibly it the root of it may have happened um on a reservation or and and yeah irotishima the white man came okay so it might have been this energy of you being betrayed by someone that was outside of your culture and you holding on to that energy okay um there's also this even uh they're giving me slavery as well so there might have been um you know someone who was uh you know in slavery and they they trusted the master they trusted the white man and they thought the person was going to like get them out of a situation or something like this free them in some way shape or form and it didn't happen all right so there's all of that so we're gonna you know what something's coming in now and we're gonna just ask there's these tears it's the tears of your ancestors so Paji tear really coming in to work with us at this time and i want you to just see yourself it back where your root is okay and go to the ground i want you to see yourself on the like sitting on the ground and i want you might and you might start to feel yourself like uh different clothing come in like this past life is really coming up to you now where you're actually seeing who you were what you looked like you know in this past life and for those of you who are not seeing this spirit is just saying just release more and don't force anything just know that the energy is working for you as well okay and whatever kind of um, uh, tapestry it has woven into your past, okay? So we're working on many levels right now within the quantum field. So now I want you to just feel yourself. Some of you guys might start hearing wedding bells. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the card uh, clockwise and we're returning this energy back to you where, where you're being restored with the belief in yourself the belief in love um the belief in people okay the belief in humanity the the belief that people are actually good you know um at their core so that you can see through the eyes of peace through the eyes of love and not through the eyes of your trauma okay i want you to start to feel like feel the raindrops as if you could feel each individual raindrop okay and but they're as tears so you feel them as if they're shaped as tears and just allow this energy to be returned to you okay so you're also some of you guys are um releasing ancestors as well so some of you guys this isn't your past life story this is a past life story of someone in your in your bloodline okay and we're releasing the energy for for them as well and you just heard i forgive them all right i forgive for all of us i forgive for all of us i forgive for all of us so if you want to repeat that in your heart space now go ahead and do that mm -hmm. yeah i forgive for all of us I forgive for all of us. And now what we're doing, we're going into the finances. We're going to turn that clockwise as well to bring that energy back to you. Mm -hmm. You might start to feel um, this energy of the carnelian coming into the center. You might start to feel... A little bit of clearing in your uh, sacral and if you don't just know that it's happening all right because you're really dealing with like harmonizing out relationships and your relationship with money your relationship with your with your family 
with your ancestors, your relationship with any uh, past spouses or romantic relationships, even if you weren't uh, legally married, okay? Harmonizing out that energy. So I want you to feel as if the sun is rising, okay? But this energy is very beautiful. It's like an orangey energy and the sun is rising. And behind you, as the sun is rising, I want you to feel the warmth of the sun on your back. I want you to feel that energy of glory, that energy of worthiness, that energy of uh, acceptance it just coming into your entire body, into your entire light body. And it's coming from behind, so it's completely lighting you up as if it's going through your body, okay? And allow your body, like, release the physical of your body and allow yourself to just kind of expand out okay being rooted sitting on the ground okay <sighs> you may sigh and just let that let that energy go all right and just allow more of this uh emotional ease more of this worthiness to come back into you even this energy of like courage and self-esteem is coming back um the energy of creativity the energy of acceptance in all ways all right which is helping to make you feel safe and comfortable and stable so feel yourself being like really rooted you're you might even like stand your spine up a bit and just really Yes, thank you. Uh, make sure that your vertical line is there. I want you to go back to that triangle, that pyramid in your heart. And the top of that pyramid in your heart, see the line go from the middle of your heart chakra all the way up, okay? Through, mm -hmm, through your crown all the way up. And I want you to go up. You're going to see like a pyramid glowing, okay? That pyramid, mm-hmm. On top of the pyramid, you're going to see this energy. It's like an, actually, I see Isis, to be honest. Um, it's at the top of that pyramid. If you're open to it, you can see Isis. If you're not, you also can see an eagle. Okay? Yeah. It just depends. Some of you guys um, are tuning straight to spirit. Some of you guys are tuning to divine feminine energies of, of, of ancient. Okay. Feel yourself very, very strong in this pyramid, very solid and just opening and just receiving, just allowing all parts of you, every molecule, every atom, all parts of your DNA to receive this beautiful, like orange energy and just feel it all throughout you. Just expanding, feel the energy going down your legs as well very good very good you might feel your higher self kind of really jump into your body like i'm here we're we are one we're integrated that's very happy very happy energy your inner child is coming through very happy so you might feel some joy coming in you know you're worthy and deserving of receiving joy and pleasure and all of your needs met all right let's pull a akashic record just continue to feel that energy okay guys yeah who is here? Saint Germain is like, <laughs> he's like, let me in, let me in. It's this energy of um, being afraid to forgive. And and I think what it is, is like being afraid to change. Because like once, once you for, fully forgive, you know your life is going to change, right? Because now you've made so much space for this newness to come in. And there's this fear of like, are you ready for it? Are you ready for that new relationship? Are you ready for that new job? Are you ready to step into your purpose? You know, are you are you ready to, to make yourself known to people and to stand in, in high integrity and to live that life? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's so powerful um, because you're powerful, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes feel that joy coming in thank you carnelian thank you garrisol yeah working together oh uh yeah blue caribbean that's what somebody told me that this was and i've seen it like different names or whatever so that's what's there i feel like somebody was asking about that so we have the master uh artisan Okay, the five of forces, summer and winter, reflection, and the three of forces, bird's nest. So, <sighs> eight of keys, some of you guys are, are 
I'm, I'm being this energy of there's there's a few things coming in. There's actually like three things. There's a mastery of self of you being in union with your masculine and fem feminine that's coming in and that energy is going to heighten. It's going to increase. And then there's this mastery of relationships outside of you, right? So your ability to have harmonious relationships is going to increase as well because we're increasing the harmony within, right? And then also for those of you who are currently with a partner, um, or, or you're manifesting a partner, like it's this energy of you really believing that you're in the right space and you willing to work through whatever it is that you need to work through to bring energies of harmony into the relationship, right? It's this energy of always looking at the mirror and seeing what you're reflecting back, not what the other person is, right? So this is also this energy of you learning to stop looking into the mirror of other people's lives to see what it is that you need to do, right? And then you look into to your mirror of your soul to see what you need to do and you really mastering that okay yeah that's so oh, that's so freaking beautiful i love it all right i'm just gonna put them together they said do not put those cards on top okay so there's something else that's gonna come in all right so oh wait today's the 19th too that we're recording this 10 9 so that might mean something and then we have a. Uh, Hmm. Do you see how the winter, it's actually upside down? So there's another reflection, right? Five of forces. And there's this energy of, oh, look, there's a reflection again. So a double reflection. I love that. So you guys really, um, I feel like, all right, there's, there's a way for you to just kind of, um, it's working with the mirror. Okay. So you can, uh, you know, put your, you get your sage, your Palo Santo, uh, your black candle, um, your white candle. You can get your selenite. You can get your obsidian out. You can get your tourmaline, okay? And um, and then sit in front of your mirror, okay? Call in your, your guys, your guides, your angels, your ancestors of the highest truth, compassion, love. Call them in to surround you, right? And ask your higher self to show you your show you your past lives but also to like show you your heritage show you what it is that you're ready to see what it is that you're ready to call back i almost feel like like some of you guys have to see who you were in a past life so that you can see how powerful you truly are and um and calling back that that wisdom that skill that knowledge that power right and knowing that it, it's it's within you but you like claiming it okay so there's that kind of thing you can also you don't have to do it with the mirror for those of you guys who are like very visual and bringing your inner child and higher self in you can look into your eyes and you can do with the mirror those of you who are, are writers or painters you know or musicians you can do it with music you know you still have the same setup you still have the, have the same intention to bring your guides and everything in and um if it's with music you just start playing but you set the intention show me you know who i am show me about um my past show me about my ancestors you know what i mean whatever you're feeling called to and you start playing and then you just allow you know your your guides um and someone to step forward i feel like archangel michael um and and um saint germain will be the ones leading you on this um archangel gabriel might even step in as well okay to lead you to guide you you know through this review of your life okay so that way you know who you are all right and 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 who you've been you know and remember that like you were everything all at once right it's already within you yeah, it's that's so beautiful and powerful. And then we have okay with finances and the bird's nest and three forces. So three forces is coming out really strongly, and there's this energy of transformation and you being able to feed either your your family, okay, your children, or you being able to feed your projects. All right. Um, so whatever the resources are that you were that you need uh to sustain your livelihood but also to live in this brilliance this abundance to live um it's either it's it's coming right um i was gonna say it's coming or it's on its way so that was kind of like the same thing and i almost feel like you have to say that to yourself if you are not seeing it manifest in your life right now you have to say it's coming it's on its way like it's this reprogramming that's happening and then you doing um you know the the, the game of the color game of whenever you see like a color that makes you feel abundant you're just saying abundant and all and keep doing doing that and you will start to see more abundance come into your life and you can even ask you know help prepare me to receive more abundance and so
So what that looks like is you releasing the limiting beliefs of feeling like you're not worthy, the limiting of beliefs of feeling like you're not enough, right? When you feel like you're not worthy or not enough, then the abundance isn't coming into you because you're blocking it by those emotions, right? And so when you don't feel you're enough, then you don't even feel you're enough to have enough, you know, that kind of energy. So spirit is saying, um, I'm helping with this, but I need you to uh, speak more into existence. I need you to combat that negative energy, those worries, those fears with affirmations of positivity. You also, of course, can say um, Pumps 23, which is a, a prosperity prayer as well, if you're open to it. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to pull one more and then we're going to end the reading. So this is something um, that Spirit kind of feels they want you to either like tap in about or write about. So that's the, okay, write about. So that's the other example. If you guys are like writers and you want to know more about who you are, about your past lives, about, you know, who you were in a past life and how you can use that magic, that gift in this life or, or call it back to you. Um, yeah, it's going to do with there's two all right it's going to be either dealing with uh ships okay ships coming in um your your gifts from and that's why isis came in too so maybe they're gifts of magic as well um but you can write this down and honestly what i what i would do but you can do whatever your intuition is is calling you to do is i would still use all the same things you know uh the tourmaline the selenite my whatever candle i want to use calling in my guides and i would focus on the ship Okay, I would focus on the ship or I'd focus on the pyramid. All right, and I would just write whatever it is. It's like, um, right through me right through me so in my heart space right now when I'm doing the automatic writing the ship is in my heart space and I'm asking it to write through me and I'm just writing down anything that comes all right so if it's Egypt I'm asking right through me and because this has two pyramids I would be using this particular image but you can use whatever is coming through to you you also feel free um, the setup that we use as far as putting the the five candles uh, tea lights inside of your heart space and putting the pyramid in your heart space that's a shield for your heart that we set up uh, in the beginning. Okay. So you can continue to use that. And as we're drawing that line going down, that's you grounding out your energy. Okay. So you're shielding and you're grounding out your energy. And then when you put that line going all the way up to your crown and going to the pyramid and then either seeing Isis or seeing the Eagle. All right. That is you connecting into source energy and you just kind of bringing that energy down. So it's like, um, you can even see Metatron if you like, it's just a bridge. Okay. Or which is that whoever, uh, comes to you, right. That is going to be that bridge for a lot of you guys. It's like straight source. You're just connecting straight into source because you have, uh, passed that initiation right and for others of you guys you're still clearing um you know fear of your power fear of fear of your power okay so um you there might be a deity or a you know a guide that is going to help connect you into source until you release the fear of who you are and then you'll be able to connect straight into source all right through the uh through uh the spirit of the eagle or it might be the spirit of the sun you know however you you envision source to be okay so uh with that we're just gonna um come down i just want you to just waterfall your energy with uh pink yummy energy as if there's this like um I don't know. It's like a burst of, of fireworks mixed in with like pink cotton candy and like pink clouds and pink breezes, you know, and beautiful pink starlight. Okay. That's coming in on top of you, filling you up with just beautiful compassion. Mm-hmm. And just allow that to waterfall down through you, especially into your eyes, all right, into your third eye, but allow this energy to flow out. You might even see like pink light kind of shooting through your eyes right now, all right? Just let it, you might see pink light shooting through your ears right now, just let it. You might see pink light shooting through your shoulders, just let it. You might see pink light shooting through your hands, just let it, all right? You might be seeing pink light kind of shoot through all of your chakras, just let it. You might see pink light going down your legs and just shooting down as if there's like shoots, Okay, just let that light go all the way down through your feet. See the pink light shooting through the bottom of your feet, going down the center of your earth star, uh, your galactic chakra, and going down to the center of the earth and just connecting into mother, into that pool of beautiful pink light way, way down below you. And then feel that pink light coming up through your toes, through your feet, through your ankles, 
through your calves, through your knees, through your thighs, into the bottom of your spine, focusing here at the bottom of your spine for a moment for some peace, okay? Mm, feeling abundance and then feeling the energy swirling up like kundalini okay coming in and out of your chakra so in and out of your root in and out of your sacral in and out of your navel in and out of your solar plexus in and out ah and see their triangle it's still lit in and out of your heart in and out of your palms of your hands in and out of your shoulders and your arms in and out of the bottom of your neck all right, where the high heart chakra is, in and out of the middle of your neck, in and out of the back of your neck, in and out of your ears, in and out of the middle of your head, in and out of your eyes, in and out of your nostrils, in and out of your crown, and then go up, 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 in and out of your casual chakra, in and out of your soul star chakra, in and out of your stellar gateway, going all the way up over that beautiful bridge, and then going in and out of the central sun, and then just bursting into the sun and becoming the sun. On the count of three, be grounded back into your body, feeling better than before. One, two, three. Yay! Powerful, powerful. All right, so very beautiful. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that you opened to it. Um, definitely rewatch it because whatever it is within this that was channeled through that really resonated with you, uh, feel free to take that part of it and, and make it your own, okay? Of the meditation, of, of the grounding, of the shielding, of the connecting, um, of the filling up with energy, whatever part that really spoke to you that uh, was channeled through, take it and make it your own, okay? And also... Um, None of this has to be done in the same exact order, but you know, the basics here are just centering into your heart space. We call the shield in first just because we're on this wide scale of, of, of reaching out, right? So we wanted to call that shield in. Your shield doesn't have to be a triangle. It can be whatever you want, okay? And then we just grounded our energies to connect into Mother Earth. And then as we were just filling up and releasing anything that would block us from connecting into source, we did that and then we went up and we connected into source source so however you want to do that it's those three those kind of like three steps okay um i guess maybe four so because we kind of centered first and then we shielded then we grounded um and then we connect oh it's five then we connected to mother and then we did some more grounding right and then we connected into father so however you want to do that you you can but feel free to um you know and make it your own and whatever colors that come into you whatever shapes that come into you just you know use it whatever crystals come to you just use it we also use spring water uh spirit wants you to know that uh so that help us to connect even more into into mother earth you know and that's also why we bought the crystals in and the fire so that we could just have all of the elements here and of course our our breath our words is the air all right so we could just have these elements here with us and we do have metal as well and we have ether so it's just this beautiful uh, energy of just becoming whole, you know, so very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ground even more. I'm just going to light some more sage. Okay. And we're just going to sage down. So you might see an ancestor come in. Eagle spirit is coming in. My great grandfather. So, um, well, he's like grand grand. Okay. So he might be coming in for you as well, or he might be yours. We might be connected, right? Soul family, AA in the building. Um, so you might see him coming in on the top of your head or even in your, in your third eye. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. And so what he has, and he loves to use his turkey feather. All right. He loves to use his turkey feather. Grandmother is coming in as well. Grand grand. Come on in. Oh, she's beautiful. She's wearing lots of turquoise. So you might be seeing this as well. All right, again, big up soul family. Let's get it. Let's go, right? But we're all family. We are. Born of the same star. Okay? Understand that. Oh, so beautiful. So if you could just feel the energy is kind of going... Uh, grand uh, grand grandfather he's going to your right side and grand grandmother is going to your left side and uh she has it's just this interesting what is the feather that you're holding 
uh, the feather of the crow. Mm, and the blue jay. So there's some, she's, yeah. So there's also this energy of just take care of yourself after this. This is definitely major clearing, major integration. So just be kind to yourself and just feel the energy of the feathers just clearing from the top of your head and just like expanding you, just really grounding your energy out, grounding out your space. We're just clearing all that as well, asking the angels to come in. Ah, oh, just feel it kind of just going down. Okay. Whew. You might, yes, feel it opening all the way up. Very beautiful. Mm. I feel the feather kind of go down your right side. Feel the feather go down your left side. Feel the feather go through your arms, through your head, through your third eye. Uh -huh. Tickle, 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 tickle. And feathers just going into all of your chakras. Mm. Yes settled into your body. Okay, here we are. Thank you guys so very much. I love you. Namaste.